It's been a whole month since my last video and yes, I cut my hair since then. And now let's go get down to the, the, to the main subject of this video. I went to watch Thor The Dark World. I just did. I just came back from the theater just now. I have never read any Marvel comics, but I've watched almost all of the Marvel films, like at least the current trend of films, the current set of actors within. So yeah, I'm pretty obsessed with the, the movies and like waiting for the next come out and stuff. So of course I watched, I would watch Thor 2. Maybe, probably just because of Loki's in it, because I love that character and I love the actor as well, because he was a marketing twist and he, he was the necessary evil in this film, so I really wanted to watch the film. So, um, there might be people who watched the first three trailers of this film. It seemed so sad. Just from the trailer, it was just not as engaging, but you still get excited because it because it's a Marvel film, you get excited, but the trailer itself would not get you excited for it. And when the trailer is out, there's nothing to get excited about, but when you're watching the film in the theater with 3D glasses, it was just amazing. All the colors, how they how they just toy with the idea of that is just simply makes it worth watching. So it, from the trailer it is apparent that Thor comes to Earth, takes Jane Foster aka Natalie Portman to Asgard and stuff happens that someone threatens her blah 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 and that stuff. So that storyline is it is a Marvel film storyline and you see the like you see the each individual character's um, behavior in it. It was played so well especially Loki was Oh, Loki was Loki. He was just Loki. Like I'll just say that on Loki. His character is so. At least that that big horn didn't happen because I never liked that. You know that golden horn thing. Anyway, he he was amazing in his um, green um, costume, and oh, I I gotta mention that Thor's cape was so red that I wanted a lipstick in that color. I have to mention that the film was hilarious. And I don't mean it, w it, it to be in a very comic, comic, comedy way, comedic way, or like that. It was just that some segments were so, um, so humorous that what the characters does is not, it's not stupid, funny. It was just, it's not smart funny. It's just how the way they are is just funny. Like, I I found myself laughing out loud so many times that I c lost my count. My um. Um, I'm not sure how to call her, my friend, my sister, my sister, my sister girl and I were watching together, like, both of us just burst out laughing at the same time, probably the people in the theater got annoyed of us because we were laughing so loud and it was just that funny film, so I truly suggest you to go and watch the film if you haven't already because this film just opened last Friday worldwide, so not many of you might have watched it yet because the, the tickets are pretty sold out. I had to wait for two hours for the next showing for to watch and then the, the the seat was not that good so you better go and get your ticket early if you intend to watch it and go watch it before before YouTubers or Nine Gaggers spoil it to you, okay? So, yeah. Oh, and don't forget to wait for the after the credit scene of every Marvel film. I think the... what's his name? I forgot his name again, that... that Del Toro... Del Toro actor, like, what's his first name? That actor is in the Marvel film. His character appears. I have not known that maybe people you did but I didn't now I'm making fool out of myself whatever I don't care so go watch the film and I'll see you later bye now to think about it, I, I'm wearing Loki's color and Thor's cape color <laughs> that what a coincidence